And the successor to President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, the president-elect's rhetoric suggests a more moderate approach. But on the all-important topic of nuclear enrichment, the new leader seems pretty familiar. Here's senior foreign affairs correspondent Amy Kellogg. Oh, yeah. In his first press conference, opening of a new chapter in the Islamic Republic and even spoke of an era of sorrow coming to an end. From the moment it was clear moderate cleric Hassan Rouhani had won the election, there was a rare public outpouring of joy on the part of young Iranians, hopeful in the prospects for change in their country. But this is not because Rouhani is a liberal. Rather, he was the only moderate in a pool of six otherwise ultra-conservative candidates, all vetted and approved to run by Iran's Guardian Council. Rouhani says he wants better relations with the world and relief for the economy, but the main reason for Iran's isolation is its nuclear defiance, and Rouhani has said the centrifuges will keep on spinning. He indicated a willingness to be flexible, however, but it's not clear where he may give. Of course, our nuclear programs are totally transparent in nature, but we are ready to show more transparency and to show the world that Iran's nuclear work complies fully with the international framework. Rouhani knows the nuclear program. He was Iran's nuclear negotiator from 2003 to 2005. He's a regime insider. He's not going to make any easy concessions. He was viewed as a very tough negotiator when he headed Iran's nuclear negotiating team. And it was only after he left that uh, the Europeans realized uh, how good they had it with him as the negotiator, because at least he was ready to make uh, some uh, compromises. During his term as negotiator, Iran voluntarily suspended its enrichment program. Rouhani has said he won't do that again. Today, nobody would actually expect an Iranian leader to suspend that country's enrichment program with its 14,000 centrifuges. Experts say at this point, the best we could hope for would be getting Iran to put sufficient limits on that program to give the world confidence that Iran couldn't rush to make a bomb in a short period of time if it chose to do so. Brett. Amy Kellogg in London. Amy, thank you. And in